waving the flag at the top of the mountain. And hopefully, I'm sure, all you guys are going to EBI tomorrow. Everyone going to EBI tomorrow? You going? Know EBI? You know what that is? You know what that is? <laughs> <laughs>
I'm just gonna kick my leg that was the seat belt real wide and go over the top to his wrist. Okay. You may have seen this. Keenan Cornelius likes like, like this one a lot. Okay, but Z guard, Z guard here. Wide. My foot's on the seat for a second. The only thing I want to do is point my toes. And my toes go first. And I want them to pop out of this far hip. Okay, so I'm here. Grab, I let him defend. Keep real wide. Foot's on the for a second. Then I'm going to keep it all the way through there. Okay? And again, I want him to feel safe here, like he's kind of defending this. Because now that I'm at this point, right, I can start really tearing on that Lamara. And I might even take my, my bottom seat guard foot out just to make that roll easier. But I have my Kimura grip, and I just roll right into spider. From here, I can go to the Kimura grip and pull through. But see how I never lose a grip? I don't just do this. I have my Kimura grip. I let go of the wrist and pull through. That way it's secure the whole time and I can go right there. Spider. Okay, so. Seat guard, wrist, Kimura grip. Okay. He's gonna put it in his exact. He's gonna defend my grab leg. Keep him wide. And there's a scenario where he's holding my hip, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Yeah, you can start to drill this for a second. So omit the fact, say he's not like plugging. You have an option from here, he's like, no, I can't keep my leg out. Okay. Is he guard Kimura grip? Keep him wide. Shooting that through. Now it's crazy how I can straighten my legs and pull this Kimura grip out. He's gonna want to roll to defend that Kimura. And I want him to have my Kimura grip, let go, pull through to spider -like. Lots of finishes and options from here, obviously. Right? But that's just a nice entry. Still gonna keep my Z guard, and actually this time the, the leg mechanics the same, but I'm making a deep hook underneath his leg, and I'm still pushing him away from here. But now again, if he's sitting up, it means he's not hugging his leg. So once I've got my deep hook going, I'm gonna kick around wide again. Watch. I'm gonna grab onto his heel, and I don't want him to straighten his leg, so I'm gonna turn it like a crank. Watch. I still have his heel. Both hands on the heel, his toes go in between the ground and my head. Look, if I can't, if I can't quite get the knee bar, here's what will make him get the knee bar. Pushing his toes down and his heel up. That always straightens that knee out. Because he's trying to turn his knee that way. Okay? So what if I've got control, if he wants to turn that way, I'm blocking him, his toes from turning with my head, but then I'm gonna do the opposite of what he wants. You see that torque he on the knee? It's crazy. Okay, so and I can't, he knows that I want all that, but he doesn't know that I want to reach underneath. Kick over. Look how I just turned my crank perfectly. Both hands on the heel, straighten it out. Right, and we can finish. A slightly less crazy version of that is knee guard, or uh, a Z guard. Right, it's the same. I'm doing almost this one. I'm not kicking under, but I could for the knee bar. Or if you start turning out, that's when you're in the hill. So it's all this very related game. Again, I'm not focusing on that at all, but there's levels to every move, right? So we're gonna uh, let's imagine we just did a bunch of. Uh, more from the guard and the spider. Okay, we're just gonna jump right on the next spider. Okay. That knee bar was slightly off topic, but I felt like I need to show you. So, spider web. Alright. Um, people at the high level, this this right here, this is a low level grip. The highest level grip would be he is hiding that hand. Yeah. That's what he wants to do. That's the safest. I can't arm crush him there, it's really hard to arm crush him. It's hard to break the grip. It's Hard to do a lot of things. Okay. One thing to do is hold him on to me. Okay. 
and I'm like, thank you, yeah. So what, what's happening is I'm able to lift his shoulder off the mat. Okay, now the foot, that's over, the leg that's over his body, not over his head. Okay, that's the one that when I roll him back, I'm gonna cross my feet, and that foot's on bottom. Okay, now notice, I'm not above his shoulder. His shoulder is in that grip, and it's completely locked up. Okay, now I'm just gonna sit back up. Okay, but this is very, very important to have a good leg pro. You, I mean, it hurts his clavicle right now. You know, you start crunching all these things together, and it sucks. But it takes a while to get maybe this, uh, this leg curl where you want it to be. Okay, that, that's just a grip you have to polish, just like every other grip. Okay? So, uh, he's defending, I can't do my thing. Roll back, lock my feet, make sure his shoulder is in there. Okay, now I'm gonna, I can let go of the spider web because I have his shoulder so locked, and if he starts to try to kick up and grab my head, I got this arm to lock. Okay? But this is a very tight position. Okay, I'll, you can even you can even lock it in and, and turn his feet, his hips towards you and start kicking. Kind of hold him here. Right? But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let go of that, and the way we clear the head, like in rubber guard, reaching all the way across. I don't want to grab onto this this way. I'm gonna reach across his elbow. Drive my hand underneath. Look, I pushed down really hard, and I just do a curl. Boom, that pops that arm right out of there. So it's like, like you go for a some problem. Yeah. Yes, totally. Well, all I'm trying to do is dig this arm out from underneath my leg. Now that it's there, I'm gonna grab onto it. Start pulling on it. And what happens is, if I, if he's on his back, okay, and my legs are curled, but he were to turn, look at all this extra space in front of I have to take that space away as he turns. Right? So we're, we're closing that space that he's opening by turning into it. So we're rock back, lock my feet up, clear the arm, so it's over, under, pop it up. Look, I'm grabbing onto that wrist. As I pull on that, look, he's turning, which means I just close that space with my leg girl. Now I can take this arm out and I can sit right here. All day. Once you get your leg curl. Yeah, he's turning, he's flipping, he's flopping. This is like a crop. You know, when you get into that crop, you're in that position, you just can't go anywhere. Okay, so lay back, cross your feet, get up higher level defense. If you don't do that, my job's easy. But now I've got to dig, pull, take that space up as he turns. I'm never going to let go of this. I'm pulling my hip and tuck my elbow. My elbow's not even that wide, so I'm going to kick his knee in here. That shit. I've got to pull and keep my elbow tucked. Again, I can just sit right here, but I'm still going to hold on that wrist. And arm bar him and Right? This is uh, my last finish I got last turn. Exactly like this. And I think he even gave me the, what is this, the genie in the bunk? I can't remember this version of genie. This is the genie. Uh, okay, what's crushing you? Uh, arm from my shoulder. Yeah. It's still. I still can, you, you can. I'll arm from my shoulder. Right over there. Sure. But guys that know what's up, they'll start to like lift their elbow. Anyway. Whatever. Situation. Okay. Locking, clearing, popping that out, control, pull. I'm, tur I'm making him turn into me. Because, you know, everyone knows that if I have like a shitty spider web and a really loose hook, his defense is pulling that arm out and facing me. Right? So people are programmed to turn into us like that. Right? So I'm going to help him turn into me. Again. I'm digging it out and he... Sometimes I'm like, I, I used to pull this out and so he would turn into me. But then I just realized I can pull him, keep that deep hook. Now that he's turned, and everything's super tight, like I said, I can chill right here. But I'm going to keep this deep hook, pull him, let go, get the tap. Look. Hand on each. Is there a reason you can do that? You can do that. 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 You can You can do that. You can do You can do that. 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 Because I like to get, I like to get right here and work my leg squeeze for a minute, and just kind of be like, okay, can I hold it? 
right? And making sure everything's crazy tight. He can fight as hard as he wants to. But the more he turns in, he look the straighter, the less I have to pull this arm. So if you choose not to humiliate him, you can just go right to the arm. Yes. I like to humiliate him. No, no, I'm not. Okay? Yeah, you could just do that. But we're going to actually, that might answer your question. Let's work that, right? You guys. Okay, this is the first spider web position. Okay, there's a bunch of different submissions from here, but we're just gonna go super basic and use our hips to push, our legs to push, and our upper body to pull that out. Okay, this is just what I call reverse spider web one-on-one. Right? That's just the, the first option. There's a bunch of things to do from there, but we're just gonna focus on this transition from our failed zip tie to reverse spider. Well, I'm trying to zip time, but he kind of knows what's up. Pull that out. Just keep pulling on that wrist. He's going to defend it. And you have to be quick to reach over and see that more of it. And now from here, he's usually not strong enough to take pushing, hips, pulling of the arms, and that torque. spider web with the thumb, right now that I'm caught and I'm not just tapping it, I'll take the thumb out. But in transition, and I still have the thumb, usually you just go straight from there to get it. If you end up not being able to pull that out, yes, now I'll take the thumb out of there. And now I'm, my thumb was grip. Again. Zip tie. Reverse spider web. Move down, kick through, straighten. Legs. Leg this over the body. Knee down. Through the hole like we did the very first move. Roll him by threatening that more of it. 